Alvina Ray is a capital recording artist and has a popular album on the market at this time called Ping Pong. Let's ask him to play his own arrangement of Hindustan. He's kind of performing all the time. I never, I never saw him perform with a big band except for on film, but... We played with him. Yeah, we played with him. Regine got to, got to play with him. He would always, whenever he would visit, he would... He had a, his ham radio license from the time he was eight, so pretty much all day, every day, you just hear ham radio sounds, and then you'd hear this kind of Django Reinhardt guitar coming from his studio, and that was pretty much, you know, what he did all day. Um, so, you know, like on Fourth of July, he would he would wear these like American flag uh, bathing suit and and play like banjo medleys or play guitar, or pedal steel, or, you know, whatever. He was always in his basement. Uh, he actually taught himself to use Pro Tools, and and uh, he was recording himself. Like at 95. Made, yeah, at 95. Oh, wow. That's, that's really great. <laughs> he was, like, always wanting to, he was always building electronic stuff, so he was, like, you know, he always had the first VCR, the, you know, like the gigantic... Um, disc. The disc for television or whatever the newest thing was, you know. It's like he got the VCR when it was, like, $10,000 or whatever, <laughs> you know. It's like, did he, did he make his own pedal steel guitars? Um, well, he, I think that the, he kind of modified what the pedal steel was, like he was always kind of tinkering with it. He actually built one of the first prototypes of the electric guitar, which is um, at the Experience Music Museum in Seattle now, this lap steel, but um, yeah, he was like friends with Leo Fender and, and you know, was like very much at the forefront of that. I, I think he was kind of horrified with what happened with the electric guitar, but because he just kind of wanted to make it a little louder and I don't think he ever fully got the whole rock, rock. I even think he thought jazz combos were kind of a sellout. 